Hi. Hi. Hello. hello. Hey. Hello. Hi. Hi. How are hello. you? Hello. It's the Christian and Frank show. It is. This is who we are. It's the <laughs> Wednesday. Take it or leave it. <laughs> that's right. It's the one week till Ash Wednesday show. Ooh. Okay. So, uh, be that as it may. I don't know what that means. I oh, mean, I know what Ash Wednesday yeah, is, but so I that's don't. A week. It's just a week from today because it moves. It's never on the same day. Right. So, those of us who, um, like my friend Stephanie calls us mackerel snappers, <laughs> which is an insult to Term mackerel for snappers? Mackerel snappers. Ma oh. Mackerel. Because we eat fish on Fridays during Lent. Right. So, and it's an insulting term that she uses oh, proudly okay. to say, Me, my fellow mackerel snappers and I will be getting our ashes. It's like the um, the word that I, I use that they use in Britain uh, as a slang term that is not as offensive as it is in the U.S. that I use. Uh, I love that word. Oh, and yeah, yeah. You, if you were on the, if I think you'd say it on TV in, yes, in you can. England. Yeah. And here you would get seriously reprimanded. Here it is. Be very, oh, it's so very, offensive. Very bad. We have merch. You can go to teespring.com slash store slash Christian and Frank. That's a long web address. If only there was an easier one to remember, I could just click on the word merch. You can go to christianandfrank.com and click on the word merch. And yeah. it takes you to our Teespring store because I figured out how to do that. Thank you for doing that, by the way. Oh, it I, I enjoy minute. you and the merch, uh, the, what you've done with it. Thank you. Because uh, you were playing around the other day <laughs> with, um, you call them joggers. I call them sweatpants. They're, yeah. What's the difference? I don't know. I have no idea. Oh, all right. Because they would be. Would they be baggy? Joggers tend to be the ones who are cinched at the bottom, and then yeah, yeah. Those to me are sweatpants. Well, then they have the non like I don't know. Oh, okay, where it's kind of like running. Sh oh, okay, they're like, like running. Suit. Like tracksuit would be joggers. All right. Right. Well, do these have uh, elastic yes, at the bottom? Yes, they do. They're joggers. Okay. I don't. I don't know the well, difference. Well, I'm thinking about it because I'm, I'm reminded that my friend Dia will watch the show. And Dia, uh -huh. do you know, you could buy some of these sweatpants in the same blindingly bright green yeah. that you used to wear to um, school logic class in at George Mason when we were in school well, together. There's an issue. She was always known as the girl in the green sweatpants. So Dia, you should get some with Christian Frank. There's an issue right now, though. Should we not get them? Um, there's just an issue with the the logo placement on the joggers and or sweatpants. Well, our, our logo is beautiful. It is. It is reminiscent of In-N-Out Burger or a motel sign. Okay, so. Because it has that arrow. Right, here's the front of the, the, the current design. They are very plain, there's nothing, I don't see anything. And here's the back. I see what you mean. Mm-hmm. I see what you mean, it's a, it's <laughs> like. Um, I, I'm this, having some design issues. It looks like. <laughs> Or don't take this the wrong way, because uh -huh. I will probably put my foot in it. <laughs> but it looks like uh -huh. it was designed by Wiley e. Coyote, <laughs> hoping nope. the Roadrunner would <laughs> run straight into the wall that's been disguised as an underpass. <laughs> <laughs> yep, it's leading right to the underpass. <laughs> <laughs> that's you see what I mean, you know. Now. That's the issue, is because we have an arrow. And when you move the logo on the other side, it looked... It, 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 it doesn't, it doesn't it, fit. Yeah, it pointed, it's no matter what you do. And if you put it on the front... It's worse. It's worse. Oh, it's like, hello, everyone, ladies. So hello, ladies. if you would like a pair Please of enjoy. our joggers... No one's going to buy these. I want them. <laughs> Don't buy them. I, 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 can't, I can't endorse them. Um, but they're there, should you uh, want to... <laughs> Something else I can't endorse. I uh, I was taking my vitamins this morning. Yeah. And I bought them at Walmart. Yeah, you've been there. You the, go there a lot. I didn't realize you went there as much as you did. I bank there. <laughs> Krisha texts me from Walmart and says, do you need anything from Walmart? I go to Walmart once a week. And I said, only your comedic observations. Well, uh, I the only thing that I comedically observed was some Oreos, but... I bought my, I, I shop at Walmart once a week. It's like a grocery shop. Yeah, I just yeah. do I mean, it at Walmart. It's the most popular store in America. It's not a, a dish, this right. on you. We were just like, yeah, I didn't realize you went to Walmart so much. I go like once a week. I, anyway, um, I needed oil. <laughs> uh, so anyway, what was my point? Oh, my vitamins. Yeah. I bought them at Walmart. Are they and good I for bought memory? The, I bought, apparently not. I bought the Equate. <laughs> Brand, because, you know, they're cheaper. Oh, Equate, yeah. Equate. I, I know a, someone who swears by Equate. I, they're the exact same. Yeah, I've got the Equate baby powder somewhere. What I didn't notice when I bought them, I bought the male 
vitamins. You know how now they make vitamins for men's health? Yeah, yeah. I didn't know, but for a solid month now, I've you been taking men's health vitamins. Is there something extra in I don't, there? I don't know. A little boost? That's my question. Because now I buy... I go to their sister company, the Sands, uh -huh. and I buy the men's vitamins, but you have to be careful. There's two different kinds. In uh -huh. fact, I had an awkward conversation <laughs> with Frank Jr. one time when he was uh, I, I, he was buying at the store and said, do you need anything? I said, yeah, I need some of those men's vitamins. They're in a dark box and they're over there in the thing. Uh -huh. And he calls up and says, do you want the ones that enhance your performance? <laughs> I said, no, I don't want those ones. I want the other ones that allegedly increase your metabolism and help you burn calories. Right. Because so, it's got caffeine in them. And so I don't take ones with caffeine in them, but I don't know what the difference is in the men's health. Well, it's supposed to support prostate health. <laughs> so there's something. So how's, how's your pee? It's great. <laughs> well, actually, what you don't... Yeah, right. it, it wouldn't even affect you in any way. It would just... Or is it affecting me and I don't know? Uh-oh. That's my question. Well, so should I stop taking them? I mean, it's not like they check your ID before you buy them. I used them. to take I mean, prenatal vitamins when I wasn't pregnant because I mean, they Jerry, are good for your nails and hair. Yeah, Jerry buys the something something vitamins for women, right? And they're in a nicer, prettier package. And the man <laughs> vitamins are in the, the dark, no, it's so, it's so manly dumb. package. Like, I tried to buy tools at Target one time, just a small toolbox, and the only small toolbox they had was pink. Everything in there was pink. I bought it anyway, but it's offensive to me. Because you wanted just a plain I just want a tool. Like, it just comes with a hammer and, yeah, yeah. like, you know, a measuring tape, and it was pink. Well, Jerry bought one that's kind of aqua. See, I'm fine with that. I don't it's, care. It's like, more like a canvas bag that has right. matching, and the tools match the bag. Right. My tools match. <laughs> it's good when the tools match the bag. Anyway, I, I just, I, I panicked just a little bit. But not too much because it's vitamins and what your body doesn't use, you just tinkle out. Yeah, yeah. I um, just, <laughs> do you want ones that enhance your performance? I mean, ultimately, yes. It was embarrassing no. because that's what, you know, obviously they imply. Right. Without any FDA approval <laughs> that somehow this, these are, increase your stamina. Right. Or something like that. And I said, well, that's not the kind I wanted. I wanted the kind that will help me just live longer. <laughs> Well, uh, that's stamina. Well, that, different. <laughs> this was a specific stamina. <laughs> you know, if I had a pair of sweatpants that could highlight the stamina. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah, so I don't know. I have noticed that my stamina in general, and I mean like general endurance for life, has decreased with uh, pandemic times. Well, now let's Everything narrow that down. More exhausting. You also stopped a job on New Year's <laughs> Eve. Mm -hmm. So in the past month, are you talking about that? Because no. when when you're busy, you, you, you're busy. You're busy, and you can't slow down, and you don't perceive. No, I like no. I in general, I'm just I get worn out easier. Like one outing, I'm like, whoo, I'm tired. And this was before. Okay. Yeah. Well, then so I would much definitely it. switch the vitamins, yeah. number one. Yeah. I would get the lady strength. I would get the whatever it is that gives ladies endurance. There must yeah. be something for I that. I have to be careful with B12 because it makes my blood vessels burst. We talked we about this before. We have talked about that. That is a weird vitamin for yeah. you. Yeah. yeah. So I have to but be are very you, careful. Are you t because of, of the pandemic, I have increased my vitamin C, D, melatonin, and zinc. Oh, I can't take melatonin. Zinc. I can't take melatonin, but I've increased all of the others. Okay. If I take melatonin, it it does me the dirty. What? It, I'm so groggy all of the time. Oh, really? Yeah. Really? I've had a couple of nights where, um, like, we were. In a, I took a Tylenol PM because I had a headache, mm -hmm. and that was that's the best sleep. Oh, it's the worst. <laughs> it's so bad. Well, I've I've cut out. Um, I've mostly cut out alcohol the last few weeks. Um, because I could tell it was affecting my sleep, like if I had my wine or whatever. Like, okay. Yeah. Um, and so I've cut that out, uh, just hoping that it improves my skin and my hydration. Um, I don't know. That's funny, because um, my wife sometimes gets itchy from alcohol now. She's, she's given yeah. it up. Mm. But yeah. Interesting. All right. Yeah. So well, just, let's, I've got other stuff to share with you, too. I've got some other yeah. stories to share with you. But right now, we want to share with you Steve's tree service. How cool was last week's video? 
that was extremely cool because we can tell you behind the scenes what happened was um, in the middle of the commercial for Steve's Tree Service, <laughs> I got a FaceTime video call mm -hmm. and uh, it stopped the recording half from happening. So we had to do a pickup and I yeah. used the video from Steve's with the tree coming down or the limb coming down mm -hmm. to cover the edit. And except that's why we're laughing like crazy people. <laughs> but yeah, um, yeah they, they've sent us several videos or they're all on their Facebook page. They have huge high ratings on Facebook, Yelp, and Google. So check mm -hmm. them out. But the the four trees coming down at the one With time. With the little tree house. It, but it was so just, I loved it. It yeah. was great. Steve's Tree Service, you can find them on Facebook. That's their preferred method for you to check them out. Um, and it, like I seriously, I, I keep touching and it keeps lighting up. Um, I love what they do yeah i love their facebook page well because on the the other video that we showed last week i said i was going to save it but we needed it to cover mm -hmm. the edit mm -hmm. was the tree climber has they figured out how, where to tie off this huge branch that obviously is going to hurt the house or the uh phone lines or the right. cable tv line whatever it is and you think oh no that's that's gonna that's gonna really do a thing but when they cut it it swings the opposite way you would expect that's because so they've cool. Used pulleys and they tied it off. Counter levers. Oh, yeah. Yeah. There's another video. I guess we could show the other one. Yeah. Where uh, the tree climber is up on the top of the thing and he, and he cuts off the piece. It, to, it can fall safely, but he then has to go for He's a like, ride. Uh, so, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> but no, check them out. They've been in business for over two decades, and there's a reason why. Yeah. Mm -hmm. uh, call Steve and his wife, Renee, at, a, at area code 865-257-6214. Mm -hmm. And uh, tell them, hey, we got trees. We need them fixed. Thank you for all of the editing work oh, that welcome. you do. I appreciate it a lot. And it's, you know, most of the time I, I watch our completed episodes the day that they're posted, like the morning that they're posted. Yeah. And every time I'm like, man, Frank did so good. So that means a lot you. to me I when you say that. Because I remember um, there was one day where I had, I watched the episode that morning. I'm like, oh, I forgot to put on <laughs> and all I, and what, you know how it is yeah. when you realize that it was such a busy episode. In fact, it was the one with Steve's videos. Mm -hmm. It was just such a busy episode and there were so many edits and fixes. That and, was Friday's episode. And things yeah. to, that I had to, um, it got to the point where I, I missed <laughs> putting up our names at the beginning of the show like I like to do. Right. And you sent me a text saying, nice job on that. Sure. Mm -hmm. And I was like, oh, <laughs> yeah. You did. That, yeah. That, that, made, that, that made my day. Thank you. <laughs> okay. You said you have more things for me. Well, there's so much going on. When you talk about outside, mm -hmm. you know, I, I can't help but stare out the window. <laughs> and right. in fact, I got, a, I got a text from next door neighbor, Nancy. Uh -huh. And <laughs> it was, what did she put? Something like, um, wow, thanks for getting those trees down. This is the Steve's Tree Commercial Service has ended. Right. Right. Steve's, what am I trying to say? Yes. Steve's this tree service commercial service. has ended. But I got a text from Nancy saying, thanks for getting those trees down because now she has a different view yeah. of the sunset. Oh, nice. As do I. Yeah. So I'm staring at the sunset almost every night. And in the morning, I'm washing the dishes and I'm just looking out the window. Mm -hmm. And I mean, it's fascinating to me. I'm not that I'm trying to be nosy, but there's a neighborhood. <laughs> Mrs. Kravitz. Well, no, but it's like, in the distance. Right. You and can you see, see the neighborhood. School buses and moving trucks and mm -hmm. people and activity mm -hmm. and just things that the neighborhood that didn't exist to me previously. Yeah. Because of that kudzu. Yeah. Well, now you have a view. So Nancy likes it as well. So I'm looking out the window. I'm at the kitchen window. And I see this gray dog-like thing. Mm. And I'm thinking, I'm, I've got to get the camera. i got to mm -hmm. get my... And Quick. I ended up getting my iPad, which mm -hmm. is not the most convenient, but... They always say the best camera you have is the one that is with you. Right. And that was the closest. So I grabbed the iPad <laughs> and I'm jacking up the kitchen window. <laughs> and <laughs> there's two of these beasts. Right. And actually, they're coyotes. So I'm, the first one oh, goes they make around. The creepiest, craziest noise. Goes around the corner between my house and Nancy's. Uh huh. And then there's another one that's slower. So I'm trying to, as you'll see in this video, awkwardly. Um, capture this Follow coyote it, yeah. on video and zoom in and not scare them and be quiet and mm -hmm. all the things. So granted, it's not perfect, but you realize, I realized that it's a three-legged coyote. Ooh. So I That's send so this cool. picture to, send this video to Megan and Frank Jr. and Jerry and you mm -hmm. and all my, and my, my core people. Your core, your people. And um, Megan wonders, how did this coyote lose his leg? I know. And I had to write back to her. I said, well, um, it's similar to the very rude phrase, coyote ugly, 
which I don't recommend you look up. Right. But coyotes have been known to chew off a limb to escape a, a trap. Right, right. So that's possibly how he lost his uh, one of his hind legs. Or he got injured and did the same thing. Yeah. Yeah. But he, but he was obviously getting by on um, three legs. Um, but I was then worried about <laughs> Nancy and the next one. I guess I sent it to her. I said, yeah. Nancy, there's coyotes. I owed you. In our backyard, mm -hmm. which she already knew there were coyotes back mm -hmm. there, but you know, like West Knoxville, like this area specifically, like the this specific area where you are has a lot of coyote activity. It does. Yes. Is there a website for that, or is uh, it a Reddit there's thing? A Reddit. There it's Reddit slash coyote. Uh huh. And I have friends who live neighborhoods nearby yeah. that see coyotes frequently, and because well, mm -hmm. Nancy said she had seen coyotes previously, but this is my first time in the like almost seeing them twenty years that I've lived here that I've actually put made eye contact with the coyotes. I've seen more driving Chris, at night in this area uh, than I have like mountains. In I'm home a lot more. Yes, it makes sense yes, that the are. coyotes, the midday coyotes would be walking mm -hmm. through. Yeah, morning odies. That would be a good name for a band, the midday, midday coyotes. coyotes. Just some placid indie yeah. music. Yeah. Mm -hmm. mm -hmm. So I was worried that um, the coyotes would take, would harm Nancy's cat, who's an indoor cat, mm -hmm. or the feral orange cat whom we love. I know. And like, Nancy, thanks for watching, um, but Nancy want, doesn't want me to take Orange Cat and make Orange Cat mine because Orange Cat is friends with her cat. But they don't ever touch. Right, they just visit through the there's, screen. There's no touching. They've got there's a- they've no, got a, no floofing, no touching. A, a, a bubble line, which is, <laughs> which is the screen door. So I yeah. guess I didn't realize that, that Orange Cat and Nancy's well, cat were friendly. It's, uh, you know, I, I think, honestly, if I were to try to make Orange Cat an indoor cat, Orange Cat would rebel against that now, as I've well. I told you there's really two Orange Cats. Right. You can tell the difference because one of them has lost half his tail. <laughs> yes. Probably yes. to a coyote. Probably. So I was worried that the coyote was going to harm Orange Cat. It could happen. Mm -hmm. My could. parents have lost many a chicken and a cat to coyotes. <gasps> really? Yeah. When Hannah was little, she used to go, ah, Odie, ah, Odie, because hmm. we would hear them. Yeah. They make the m most terrible screechy noises. Well, Nancy also commented on the episode where I talked about the raccoon mm -hmm. that was climbing up the <laughs> side of the house. Yeah. And I, in the, at, at night, I come out. Your underwear raccoon visit. <laughs> I pop open the sliding glass door from the upstairs bedroom, mm -hmm. and I'm eye to eye with a raccoon. <laughs> and Nancy's thrilled. Nancy, yeah. remember, she's a former science teacher, right. retired science teacher. And she's like, oh, that's the state mammal of Tennessee. You can't mm -hmm. harm it. Mm -hmm. And I'm like, oh. They're so cute. Okay, well, you got their little hands. I, I like them. And Jerry was a little worried that yeah. it was going to do something bad. It was going to burrow into the house like the one at Sweet Fanny Adams. Right. I mean, it's probably still living there, to be honest. And so Nancy said, well, you know, I had raccoons. I had a family of raccoons that burrowed into my, I don't know, I guess it's not an attic. What would you call it? Into the area between the ceiling and the roof of the screen the porch. Eve? So it's not exactly the, ins anyway, so she had this right family Eve? of raccoons and had to call the people. Uh -huh. To come and and do live the wildlife trap. removers and and so she, yeah I hope I still have it the photo of the um, the little baby kits here take a look mm -hmm. actually you, you're better at it than me would you thank you mm -hmm. uh, that we're living or trapped now in this cage and removed yeah. from Nancy's house I love them so there's a lot of critters when I was in high school my I went to Bearden High School and my science teacher you went to more than one high school right? I did I went okay. to Bearden and Seymour okay. Uh, I didn't graduate from either. Hey. <laughs> um, my ecology science teacher, Mr. Savory, Bob Savory, he retired recently from Bearden High School, was, I mean, he always had, he had pet possums. Yeah. And he also taught us how to taxidermy in wildlife class. And I was in the first year that we started the outdoors club and went rock climbing. Oh. The rock climbing club, we used to rock climb and rappel down the back of the bleachers, uh, the stadium bleachers. But wow. he always had, we had a pet baby possum that lived. In the classroom? Pet, but a baby possum lived in the classroom. In a, in a terrarium in a, type Yeah, thing? and it would hiss at you. It would go. <laughs> and a little pointy nose. <laughs> That's a heck of a face. Yeah. <laughs> so, it was Screen so rap. angry. <laughs> it was so angry. Profile New pick. profile pic. <laughs> well, I do love the animals in the backyard. I, I, I feel like I don't ever want to pet. Yeah. Because I just enjoy, there's these beautiful hawks. I think they're called red-tailed hawks, mm -hmm, maybe. Mm -hmm. That and, and now with the, there's no leaves, and also the pine trees are gone, I can see them just swooping 
in the back. Well, if you're they, lucky, you'll get a barred owl because right now is barred owl season. It's when they. It's B A R R E D, right? Yeah. They, this they, is they don't when do they poetry find, like William Shakespeare. No, no, no. <laughs> hoo hoo, hoo hoo, hoo hoo, hoo <laughs> hoo, hoo hoo, hoo hoo, hoo hoo. Uh, you'll see or, and or hear them. <laughs> Humio and Juliet. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, Sorry. Um, <laughs> no, but this is when, because they find, they mate for life. Oh. And they, this is when they're finding their mate and they're actually... For life. For life. This right now is when they're finding their mate and they're getting their territory ready and starting to defend their territory. And actually on 10 Mile, there, if you're in the right time... That's I hit the greenway you The greenway. On. There's a man uh, who I talked to the other day that takes birding pictures because they're it's just there's it's like a sanctuary for birds yeah. but there's a barred owl that is is staking some claim over there and nice. i saw it and it came went <sighs> Whoa. yeah and it pooped poofed down and i poofed was like, now i wonder if the hawks i mean these hawks have been here for years mm -hmm. and there's many of them they have obviously had hawks nests and owls and are not friends so i think the hawks have, have made their claim on my area yeah. but i just i was Captivated by one again, I should have grabbed a camera just standing just um, On a branch for a while until all of a sudden he just floofed and uh, flew mm -hmm. at Relatively close by and they make just the shadow of them. They're just they're powerful so cool. and I love them. They and they're screechy They're oh, very yeah. screechy. They sound they sound like the seagulls at the beach almost. Mm -hmm. That's how screechy they are and barred owls say Who cooks for you? Who cooks for you all? That's what they sound like hoo -hoo, hoo -hoo, hoo -hoo, hoo -hoo, hoo -hoo. That's oh, it is sort of You're poetic. Welcome. We're back to back yeah. to the Shakespeare of owls. Woo -hoo, woo -hoo. <laughs> All right. Well, thanks a lot for watching, <laughs> listening, and subscribing to the Christian and Frank it's Show. It's the birding hour. You can find the links to all the things we try to tell you about at christianandfrank.com because mm -hmm. sometimes we forget to tell you about all the things. Yeah. And if you would like an audible trial for 30 days, you can go to audibletrial.com slash Frank. That's 30 days. You get a free download and then you can keep it or not keep it. You keep the download permanently. You keep the subscription. It's up to you. Yeah. That's a good deal. It's actually a very good deal it's darn to good. try it out. And our podcast is on their podcast app. App, mm -hmm. Audible Pod. So do check us out there if you want to just hear this exact same show, except without looking at our faces. But you have to see Krisha's face <laughs> because the baby, the, possum. the baby possum face <laughs> and the owl face are both quite spectacular. Oh, my owl face was good. Oh yeah. Oh thanks. All your all your faces are good. It's but that was those are good. Animal faces are funny. Thanks. <laughs> all right. Look for us at uh, SeymourSmokies.com this weekend. We've got another yeah. adventure coming up. We'll tell you more about that uh, tomorrow and I'm Friday. I'm so excited about this. Because this is one that started as an offhanded comment that Christian made on the show. Yep. And is that turned now into an adventure. Reality. It's so. so good. <laughs> All right. We'll talk to you tomorrow. It's Krisha and, and Frank. Frank. I wonder what answer the owls get. Like, who cooks for you? Who cooks for you all? I'm like, Wendy's. <laughs> <laughs>